you know, uh, when I was uh, uh, 10 years ago, uh, I used to work uh, with a big label, you know, and uh, so I was releasing all my production at Sushi Row there. But I had a lot of expectations and a lot of um, ambition for them. And I would always tell them, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that. And they would always say yes, but then the things would never happen. And for a long time, I stayed frustrated until I completely understood what was going on. The people in the place where I was working, Section Zouk was the name, they were scared of me. They were scared of letting me do too much stuff because I was starting to become too big. And that's when I realized that when you have big ideas, when you have an ambition, like my mentor always told me, a leader doesn't follow people. And since I moved to Portugal, I decided to really work by myself and continue creating my empire by myself. And a lot of people are too scared to work on their craft and create the dreams that they have by themselves. And that's why they go hide behind somebody and hope that this somebody will do what they have in mind. But what you have to do and the only way to go to not be frustrated and be somebody's employee or be dependent on the money or the network of somebody is to build your own. It's better to have a small network that you own than to have your content in the hand of somebody else. And we are in the world where content is the king of everything, especially right now. Everybody is at home. Everybody is looking for good content to consume. What you are seeing here is good content. And uh, a lot of people are happy to see this content. And who you need to be is the person who owns that content. So if you are a creator, if you have ideas, if you want to cook, if you want to do a book about cooking, photos, something, go ahead. Don't wait for people to give you a hand. Start working on, on your dreams and your ideas right now. And even if your execution is not great the first time, you will be able to make it better the second time. I did an album called African Bohemian and it was the first time that I decided to mix and master my album by myself. And uh, when I hear it today, this is one of the, my most respected and, and, and most uh, commercially successful album. When I hear it, with everything I learned since then, the sound is horrible for me. But still, everybody is amazed by those songs. When I hear Motema, I hear all the, all the, all the mistakes I did in the mix. But those songs are still iconic because of the heart I put in there. And if I could remix everything, I would. But I leave them like they are because they are, uh, they are a step on my, on my road to becoming my own man and the owner of my own work. And that's why I keep them the way they are with their flaws because it's not important to be perfect. It is important to do. The road to perfection is a road that is infinite because you will never reach the perfection. It's something I learned is just do it. Don't wait for it to be perfect. Don't, don't wait to, to, for it to be the way you thought it would be. Put it out. Monetize it. Pay your rent. And then put something else out. Way too much people. Stay waiting too long to put out stuff. And because they wait too long, because they want it to be perfect, they never put out anything. 
And that's the opposite of me. I just do how I feel, how I can right now. And on the way to doing better, how I will be able tomorrow.